Every day before we eat, we just stop to consider why we're eating. Here we are, born into this human body, and as soon as we're born we have needs. And food is our major preoccupation. They say that in the concentration camps, discussions of sex lost their interest very quickly, but discussions of food were always interesting. It's our basic attachment. We have to figure out the way to distinguish between what's necessary to eat and what's excessive, because the more you eat, the more of a burden you are to others. But if you eat too little, then you don't have the strength to practice. So you have to find the right balance, which is why the Buddha has you reflect every day. Not for fun, not for entertainment, but for keeping the body going. They get rid of old feelings of hunger, but not create new feelings of being stuffed. You find just the right balance. As the Buddha said, if you really understand food, it can take you all the way to non-returning. That includes the practice of the perfection of virtue and the perfection of concentration. The big disturbance for our concentration is our obsession with food. So we have to learn how to take a matter-of-fact attitude toward it. It's there. It, we need it. We need the strength that comes from the food in order to function, in order to practice. We're trying to find the right balance. The Buddha has to reflect every day as you're eating. To gain some insight into your relationship to food. So it's not a minor practice, as I said. If you totally understand food, then you can reach non-return, if you really comprehend it. Then, of course, there's the, that's physical food. Then there's the food of contact, the food of consciousness, the food of your intentions. That's food for the mind. It's a similar relationship, but to really comprehend those, that'll take you all the way. Which is why the analogy of feeding underlies so many of the Buddhist teachings. It's something you really want to sort out. Your relationship to food, both food for the body and food for the mind. So give it the attention it deserves. <laughs>